the scaled down version. The movement, if you will, the revolution of the heart. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'll be the first to say and the first to admit, you are looking at a modern day Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Who I am in front of everyone else and who I become alone behind closed doors when no one's looking. A wise man once said, true character is who you are when no one's looking. Friends, I've been a liar, a cheat, a thief, and no stranger to addiction in my life. A cigarette smoker, a drug addict for over 10 years, which led to seven major lung operations. But I never thought harmless fun as a kid, like looking at Playboy, Pit House, and Hustler was going to lead my adult life into a secretive, deceitful, lust-filled pornography addiction. Over the past several years, five, six, seven nights a week, I would have a fling with my computer. And the 423 million pages of internet pornography that make up our adult cyber world today. And every time I would shut my computer, the overwhelming feelings of guilt and shame. I'm a monster. I'm a pig. I'm sick. I'm twisted. What's wrong with me? Why can't I change? I'm the only one. I didn't realize 30 million men had the same addiction that I had. And the rise among women is now at 30%. I'm ashamed to say this. Because of my pornography addiction, I caused my beautiful, lovely wife to fall into her own personal sideshow called bulimia because she felt she wasn't skinny enough or pretty enough or whatever enough to compete with my women online. Every reflective surface became her worst nightmare. A mirror, a puddle of water, a reflection in a store window, even the reflection in the back of a spoon distorted the image of herself so much that she would throw up her food in order to look like what women are supposed to look like in today's culture. We could both wear great masks on the outside in front of everyone else, our perfect little pretty masks. But on the inside, our hearts became dungeons that we could not escape from. Fix me, change me, help me. Please, God, please, I used to beg every day. And one day, God did fix me in a very strange and peculiar way. You see everything on this stage, from the pig to the faceless woman, the music and the videos were given to me in a dream, and not an overnight dream, a dream that lasted three and a half long, sleepless years. And this dream has become my sole purpose in life, to show other people we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. There will always be things that haunt our lives till the day we die. Put your fist in the air. Now, this is a lovely sight. This purpose is about honesty. It's about putting your fist in the air, having a day one, a clean slate, getting your addictions, your struggles, and everything else that takes the focus off of Christ in our lives, getting it off our chest simply by being honest. It's about integrity, making smart decisions, recognizing temptation before it bites us in the face. It's about passion and realizing what everyone at this festival is passionate about in this world and using it for God's purpose to show other people we all make mistakes, nobody's perfect, but through our mistakes, we might be a stepping stone for someone to find a true life in this world. Ladies and gentlemen, our last song is a song of hope. No matter what monster 
hides in our hearts. We can change. God pardons any and all mistakes, in fact, when there's nothing left but God. That's when we realize Christ is all we need. Amen.